Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and today we're going to learn about chemical symbols. So what are chemical symbols and how do they work? Well it says right here that a chemical symbol is the code for a chemical element. And most of the time they are derived from the name of the element. However, in some instances they are derived from the Greek or Latin name of that element. So let's take a look at a few examples of some chemical symbols here. And hopefully you catch on. It says right here, if the chemical symbol of an element has only one letter then that letter is going to be capitalized. For example, the chemical symbol of potassium is K. It only has one letter in it, so we're going to go ahead and capitalize that letter. The chemical symbol for tungsten is W. So because it only has one letter, we're going to go ahead and capitalize that W. And the last but not least, the uh, chemical symbol for carbon is just C. And because it only has one letter, then we're going to go ahead and capitalize that letter. Okay. If the chemical symbol of an element has two letters, then the first one is always going to be capitalized, and the second one will always be lowercase. For example, chlorine, we have capital C, lowercase l, bromine, capital B, lowercase r, and sodium right here, capital N, lowercase a. Now you might be wondering, why is the chemical symbol for sodium Na? Well, that has to do with the Greek or Latin word for that element, and that's what we're going to take a look at next. We're going to look at some some of the chemical symbols for uh, elements that uh, are derived from the Greek or Latin words. Let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at a few weird ones here. We have iron. The chemical symbol for iron is Fe. You might be thinking it should be IR, but it's capital F, lowercase e. Why? Because in Greek or Latin, the word for iron is going to be ferrum. And so you can see where we get Fe from. Silver, Ag, you would think would be maybe Si, but it's not. Why? Because the chemical symbol here is derived from the Greek or Latin word for silver, argentum. Same with sodium, right? Sodium you think might be SO. However, the Greek or Latin word for sodium is natrum. That's where we get Na from. Potassium is simply K because the Greek or Latin word for that is going to be kalium. And tin is SN because in Greek or Latin it's stanum. If we take a look further, lead is PB, not LE. It's PB because in Greek or Latin that's going to be plumbum. And mercury is going to be HG because of the Greek or Latin word for uh, for mercury right here. Tungsten is going to be W because of the Greek or Latin word is wolfram. That's where we get W from. And gold is AU because of aurum in Greek or Latin. And last but not least, we have SB for antimony because in Greek or Latin it's stibium. Okay, so some of these chemical elements have symbols that might look a little funky, and it's because they're derived from either the Greek or Latin names of those chemical elements. So if you like what you see, go ahead and click the little bomb in the bottom right hand corner, and that will subscribe you. And feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comments section down below here, and I hope you found this helpful.